semester. Good evening, everyone. My name is Olivia, and I will be our Toastmaster for this evening. I hope everyone had a great weekend, and we are going to get right into it. So there's three parts to our meeting. The first part is the prepared speeches. The second part, which everyone can participate in, is the table topics portion, where you will get a one to two minute impromptu question either read before or after you are voluntold. And then the final section of our meeting is the meeting evaluation portion. Also included in that will be any awards if we have any, and then any spotlights, education spotlights or overview. So first I would like to call on those that have roles for this evening. And I will call myself first, my first role for this evening. In addition to being the Toastmaster, I am also going to do be the all counter and grammarian. The position for all counter is I will listen to any filler words like am, so, you knows, arms, us, those times when we could take a brief second pause versus putting in those words to try to, when we're going to change our, perhaps our train of thought. Also, I will be the grammarian. The role as the grammarian is I will listen to the prepared speeches, pocket speeches, and table topic speeches, and listen for any misuse of the English language. This evening, we do have a topic, and that topic is school time. We are all heading back to school, which also means the fall is upon us. It's fastly approaching us, even though we're still in those dog days of summer. So let's try to keep our questions, our thoughts, and our comments focused around school time. And our word of the day is inscrutable. Yes. <laughs> and I will put that in the chat. It means impossible to understand, like me trying to pronounce the word or interpret. Inscrutable. Inscrutable is our word of the day. And I will put it in the chat now. That is it for my roles for this evening. Carrie, your position tonight is timer. Could you tell us a little bit about your role? Good evening, everyone. I'm your timer tonight. My role is to time your speech. You see, dream at five minutes. <laughs> for five minutes, yellow at six minutes, red at seven minutes for long speech or prepared speech. Then you see this green at one minute, yellow at one minute and 30 seconds, two minutes, this red at two minutes for table topic speech. For evaluation, you see green at Two minutes. two minutes, yellow at two minutes and 30 seconds, red at three minutes. Thank you, back to you. Thank you very much, Miss Carey. And I did put the word of the day and our theme in the chat. So please try to use that word throughout the meeting. Next, I will go to Maurice. Maurice has taken on the role of you are okay. gonna be our table topics master. Yes. Right. And our general evaluator. Would you tell us a little bit about both of those positions, please? Yes. As Table Topics Master, I will give a subject for the one to two minute impromptu speech. And then I'll ask for a volunteer to give that one to two minute impromptu speech. If you don't like the question, I can give you another one. And as general evaluator, I will give a general evaluation for the meeting as a whole. And I will also invite each person on the evaluation team to give their reports. 
All right, thank you very much for that, Maurice. I think we have completed going over all the roles this evening. We do not have any prepared speeches. Is anyone interested in doing a pocket speech? Just right off the cuff, think of something that it is that you would like to talk about. And you can go from three to seven minutes, three to five or five to seven, talking about a topic that is just pressing on you. When we think about life and living from day to day, something is always, I mean, we're all intelligent beings. So we always have a thought process that's going. So there's got to be a topic that one of us is just itching to talk about in a non-inscrutable manner. <laughs> Anyone has a topic? Okay. Okay, we'll go on to table topics. Yes. We'll move on to our table topics portion and I will turn the meeting over to our table topics master Maurice. All right, thank you. Okay, since the subject is school time, okay, I do have the 365 table topics questions, but I need to frame it in accordance to our theme. So what I will do from these questions, any of these questions that I can massage to a school theme, I will do that. And the first question is, what is your happiest memory in the context of school time? Any volunteers? Would you like to do it, Carrie? Oh. Okay. Okay. Let me think. Happiest memory, right? For the school yeah. time. My happiest memory of the school time is uncountable. That means so many good memories when I was in school. But if I need to pick up the one or the very first good memory, I would say I was still in the daycare center, not quite school, but daycare center in a field trip. Just walk behind this building and there is a potato field and then we digging the potato in, the, in fall. That was so much fun somehow. And I remember before the digging it, teacher said, do not put the dirty hands on your shirt. You need to wash your hands. And so that's a really memorable words. I still remember that. Then all the kids start digging with uh, using shovel or hands or whatever available and, and get the potato. And that was so much, it was so much fun. And after the potato, what we did with the potato is the teacher boiled it and all the kids ate the potato with butter, salt, with the salt and something like that. That was a, such a fun memory. It was, I, I believe I was around five years old. That was what I still remember. That made me so much happy and fun. Thank you, back to you. All right, thanks, Carrie. Next question is, in the context of school time, okay, I'll just say, what is your saddest memory? Or not necessarily sad, but let's just say, Awkward moment or less or least happy memory. Okay, Olivia. I'll take it and I'll go. I will go with the. Let me go with the awkward. I was going to go with the saddest, but it's too sad for me to even say without crying. So let me just go with the most 
awkward. And I would think one of my most awkward situations at school was when I was in the first grade. And I remember saying, I remember yawning in class and it was a great big old yawn. And I was like, oh, and the teacher looked at me and called me by my first name, which I don't necessarily use. And she said, that was very rude of you. And I, and she said something along the lines of being rude and disrespectful. And that was not what it was at all. And I was so embarrassed and ashamed, number one, because my parents taught me even at a very young age to be respectful to adults and not be rude and be polite and be thankful and kind and all those things that exhibited who my parents had trained me to be and then even though I was in the first grade to be already accused of breaking one of those commandments in my mother and father's home was just unbearable for me and I tried to make it right and explain to her no I made up it was not what it seemed I was not trying to I just truly just young like oh, I didn't mean any harm but it came out terrible so and it was rude and I thought it was going to hinder our relationship because I think I was only in the first three weeks of class, but I never forgot her name. Her name was Miss Wanda Anderson. And maybe I might go look her up because it definitely was an inscrutable moment on her behalf, but on mine, it was totally innocent. Back to you, Table Topics Master. All right, thanks, Olivia. Next topic. Okay, this is going to be a simple topic. What was your favorite subject in grade school? Okay, Caleb. Go ahead and take this one. Um, can you all hear me all right? Okay, I'll make yes. sure joining you all from the laboratory today. <laughs> and uh, this might not, this might not be too big of a surprise. Uh, but my favorite topic when I was in school, you know, I'm still in school, was science, specifically biology and chemistry, which given my career and the inscrutable nature of academia, it's probably not that big of a surprise overall that I continue studying my favorite subject and I'm still in my favorite subject some 20 years later or however long I've been in school. It feels like forever. So that is my favorite subject and hopefully one day I'll actually make contributions to my favorite subject, but be determined. That's Oh, thank you, Caleb. And I see that Wes just came on. We're in the middle of table topics, Wes. Just got in. Yes, no, 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 no problem. Well, since, since you're on, the theme of this meeting is school time. And the word of the day is inscrutable, which means impossible to understand or interpret. Next table topics question in the context of school time. Okay, besides, okay, we, we went over favorite subject. What was your favorite activity in school outside of academics? <laughs> well, I can answer if no one else will. I know I just answered. So I would love for someone else to take it, but I right. can take it if no one else will. All right, go ahead, Olivia. What was my favorite activity? I belonged to a Christian academy for my first 
few years of schooling. And there we had bird watching and leaf identifying. And it was so amazing how you can take one leaf and identify what kind of tree it was by the shape of the leaf. And if it was edible, poisonous, things of that nature. So I found that amazing how many things out in nature is there for us to consume. Some things can help us with maybe itchy skin or a rash or a bug bite just growing in nature. There are other things that causes rash or itchy skin like poison ivy, poison, poison oak and poison sumac of which I had poison ivy and poison oak at the same time when I was six years old. So be careful of that, it is awful. That's definitely not inscrutable. You just come in contact with some poison ivy and poison oak. And if you are one of the many that suffer an allergic reaction, you will get it. Now, I wasn't out digging for or looking for leaves when I ran into those awful poisons. But as a kid, I grew up loving the great outdoors. Now, as a fully grown adult, there is nothing else I would rather do than stay away from anything that flies, hops, crawls, slithers, breeds, and has more than two legs. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. Back to you, Table Topics Master. All right, thanks, Olivia. Next question in the context of school time, and, it, and this is coming from the 365 Taylor Thomas questions. The question is, where did you find inspiration? I guess in the context of school time. I guess inspiration, you know, to excel academically or to excel in any, act, any of your the activities that you've done in school. Okay, Brother Wes. Mr. Thomas Minister. Well, I'll draw upon my, I will draw upon my experiences with my dad. I mean, he, he had this, he had this one schoolmaster that would stay until seven o'clock at night to explain to a student why he did not pass or why he got a B instead of an A. My dad remembers his first day in school. It, it was a, it was a, a very, oh gosh, backwoods school system. There were a hundred, there were miners kids, farmer jacks kids, lumber jack, farmers kids, lumber jacks kids. And there, were, it was just pat, the first day of class was pandemonium. Kids are running around throwing the races, and this schoolmaster just stood at his desk and watched, watched, observed the whole thing. Finally, got to the point where you could hear a pin drop. He said, "All right, class, from now on, this is the way this class is going to be." His old Finnish schoolmaster. My dad became, my dad uh, won a trip to meet the governor of the state of Michigan. Chiefly, he attributed chiefly because of that schoolmaster's training. That man, that man ultimately became the superintendent of schools for that, for that school system. Now, flash, flash, fast forward. I'm watching this YouTube commentator having issues with the current state of education. He asked this one student, college-age student, what, the, what state is Utah in? The student could not answer that question. He asked another question, another student, how many countries outside the United States can you name? 
the student could not answer that question. As to another question, who is the vice president of the United States? The student said, well, I, I think I know who he is, but I can't recall. If this is a state of our educational system, we are in trouble. So I, I have a great deal of respect for educators who are in the, who are in education for the purpose of teaching students skills to help them become uh, members of society. But somehow, at least in the case of those three students, they, they were, their education, I don't believe is well served. And um, I would think maybe the question was my favorite pastime in school, learning valuable education. <laughs> Skills that can help one become a better person and, and help and help with a uh, help with promoting a, a productive community. This topics master. All right. Thank you, Wes. Well, it's 19 after, so we will stop the table topics. And our relinquished elect turn back to the Toastmaster. Thank you very much, Maurice, Table of Topics Master. Good evening, y'all. We have now reached our third and final portion of the meeting, and this is when we go over our evaluations. So I will call on our general evaluator, which will in turn call on all of those that had a position or a role this evening to give their report. Maurice, back to you, general evaluator. All right, thank you, Olivia. The, the first person I'd like to call on is the timer to give the timer's report. Good evening, everyone. I'm your timer again. Myself, one minute and 35 seconds for the table topic speech. Olivia, one, your first table, table topic speech, one minute and 50 seconds. Second one, also one minute and 50 seconds. Kayla, uh, my pronouns right? Kayla, Kayla. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, it's fine. Kayla, um, just a quick question. B is silent for pronouns. No, it's B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B is silent. No, you you pronounce the B. B. Oh, okay, so Kayla. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Just quick English question. And Kayla, in 47 seconds, 47 seconds. Thank you. Wes, your table topic speech, three minutes and 51 seconds. Thank you. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Carrie. And before I get to the all counter and grammarian, I guess each table topics question was not inscrutable. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, am I on mute? Okay, no, gotta write down my figures here. So Kaori, for your table topic response, you had no misuse of the English language and you had no field words. Uncountable kind of threw me for a loop. As a matter of fact, I thought at first it was inscrutable. However, uncountable is indeed part of the English language. So I learned something today from you. So thank you very much. So the, again, there is no misuse of the English language. My table topics, I did not hear any odds, any misuse of the English language. If someone else caught one, please speak up. And then I used the word of the day at least twice. Well, now I'm 83. Kayla, you had no odds, no misuse of the English language, and you did use the word of the day. Good job. 
with, uh, you had two odds in there, but still a very good job. And no misuse of the English language. Maurice, you use the word of the day. Very good. And back to you, General Evaluator Maurice. All right. Thank you uh, for the general evaluation of the meeting. We had a five minute recess. We waited for a few people, other people to come in. And then the meeting basically ran smoothly through the beginning and through the table topics and through this general evaluation period. So that is my general evaluation for the evening. And I'd like to relinquish the lectern back to the Toastmaster. Thank you very much, Maurice, for your general evaluation. And I don't think we have an education overview this evening. And I don't know if we're ready to present an award tonight or not. Would you like to wait until next week, Maurice, to present the award? Well, the person who is getting the award won't be in next week. Okay. So two weeks, I guess. Okay, we'll come back and present that award. Definitely. And I don't think I have any further business. The time is now 724. It is a little early and I don't, I don't have a prepared education overview, but I will say this because I think it's just so applicable for everyday life. And that is never give up. Keep pressing forward. Take no moments for granted. Life can change. In the, I mean, in the blink of an eye, even on Toastmasters, I think we had an honored guest on one night and correct me if I'm wrong. I think she had a mild heart attack while on Toastmaster. Do you guys remember that? Maurice? Yes. I, I think she did. Yeah. yeah. So she was back on the next week. So she definitely survived, but she had just simply turned her camera off, which like we so often do. And then we closed out the meeting, didn't really think much of it. And she had to be taken to the emergency room. So life can change so quickly. Don't take anything for granted and just take a few minutes to smell the roses. I know these are a lot of cliches that we use, but truly these this should not be inscrutable, inscrutable to anyone. We should definitely understand just living life. I don't care where you are, what planet you're on, what coast, what region of the world. If you are living life, then you know how quickly things can change. So take nothing for granted. Live your best life. That is my thought or my overview, my uh, I guess you could say my education overview for this evening. I have nothing further. I thank you for the opportunity to be your Toastmaster for the evening. And I will pass this back on to our president, uh, Maurice. All right. Thank you, Olivia. Hey, Wes, I know you're not going to be, I know you're not going to be available next week, but we have voted to start the hybrid meetings at 6.30 p.m. instead of 6.45 Okay, I see your hand up. Uh, the conference center is attending. Well, unfortunately, it's not happening. It is, it is not happening in person. Okay, it is happening online. So the meeting that I was going to attend in preparation for that is not happening because it is online, which makes, which means I'll be able to attend the hybrid meeting, but it will be at 6.30. Yes, sir. Okay, so my, my plan to attend the hybrid meeting at 6.30 next week. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. We went over, okay, we went over the club business. I, I thought I said I was gonna hold something for later, but I forgot what it was, so. <laughs> but, oh, and oh, Wes, we voted to 
have the district director vote for us at the international conference. That's another little thing that we decided. Okay. Because so, I don't think anyone here is going to go to the international conference. I'm, I'm, I'm conference out. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. And let me do this. <laughs> 